What up YouTube, this is GeoSoftR1 and I kind of thought I'd just give you a quick update of stuff that's happening with my RCs, updates and upgrades. I ended up uh, releasing a video about me uh, setting up for March and uh, a lot of the videos that I'm going to be making. So I'll just come across little by little and tell you exactly what I'm doing with each and every one of my RCs. So let's go to the lonely darkness of the um, Axial Yeti XL. I have a few more upgrades to do with this. I know there's a sway bar kit that I'm going to install, which is somewhere around there. I think it's right there. And uh, just a few things that are going to happen with the Yeti XL. So uh, I'm going to start bashing around with it very soon. So it should be something interesting. There go all my controllers. As you guys can see, there's my Mini Z station. That's uh, the new controller that I'm utilizing. And as you can see, a new mat for me to play around with customizing a body and a whole bunch of other things uh, this little piece of destruction over here is my slash 4x4 with the Mamba Monster 2 ESC and the 2200 kV motor I'm doing a few uh, modifications uh, for mostly speed runs so we'll see what's gonna be uh, happening with up and coming videos with that and as we come around as you can see that's my my X Max which is pretty awesome um, there is the Pro Graphics body, and also I'm doing a few more other things that are going to be in the works. If you're looking down here, that poor sorry thing is a um, mini, um, mini Grave Digger. So I might revitalize that, I'm not too sure what's going to happen with that RC. Then as we come across, we got two RCs that I haven't utilized in a while. There goes my um, funny car which uh, should be interesting because I did do a few updates on the funny car. I haven't done any um, run videos with this thing, but you know, there's my uh, bash body, there's my show body right there. So this thing broke, I think twice already. So it's very fragile, but I am going to be doing speed runs with this. Also, the X, the Emax, I have to do a whole bunch of uh, upgrades on this, uh, two bodies. And also, I'm going to be uh, throwing the Proline uh, shocks on there. This area right here is the slash 4x4 area. As you can see, there's two, three, four, four, five bodies right there. So, a few upgrades that have to happen with that. Uh, good old Faithful right here, my Russell Mamba Monster. Uh, a few guys have been telling me they want to see this doing speed runs. I'm going to take off all the orange RPM parts, which I can't find anymore, off for me to do speed runs with this RC. And I have a few update videos with it. As you can see, I have some something from Full Force that I want to install into this thing. Should be very interesting. We're coming down here. It's uh, pretty hard to see right there, but this is the T10, which I do have a body available for it. And I'm not going to do anything with the Rally. Uh, I kind of missed out on the snow with this thing, but we'll do. We'll definitely be doing sand videos. I ended up uh, speaking with one of my friends who's interested in doing some sand shots with the Bandit. Here's my uh, Rally 110 scale. Nothing really needs to be done to this. Uh, I might be changing out the rims. Uh, I got two bodies that I have to paint for the slash two wheel drive, which is going to be very annoying, but has to happen sooner than later. As you can see, this is my RC wall with all the boxes. Yes, I do keep the boxes. I know a lot of people just think that's corny, but I keep it. Uh, here we go. The Traxxas X01. Uh, speed runs will be happening. Uh, five guys that I know do a lot of speed runs in Long Island. So uh, we'll definitely be, be going to uh, the abandoned runway and hopefully we'll have something good going in there. Grave Digger. Well, I'm not going to be doing nothing with the Grave Digger. This thing is in retirement. As you can see, I have bodies over there that I'm not going to be touching with that. So, uh, a little bit of a, this is going to be my show queen. Um, my show queen. So, <laughs> I'm not going to be doing nothing with the Grave Digger. Stan Pinky. Well, Stan P 4x4 has taken a beating. I'm going to be changing a lot of the broken parts on this RC unit. As you can see, I have the uh, older Valinian and uh, Valinian motor and the ESC, and I did install the updated one. Uh, I've got a little bit of issues with this. Uh, I'm just going to show a little video of it bogging out. So that's going to be an up and coming video. 
I have to make a body for the SCX-10 and also I have to make a body, they're all back there. I have to make the body for the Yeti uh, 110 scale which is very annoying. Uh, I'm pretty much almost complete with the Mini E Revo. I'm complete with the Big E Revo. And last but not least, there is my uh, Summit, which I'm throwing the brushed, um, the brushed ESC in there. I already have the brushed motor. So I just wanted to give you an update of what's going to be happening within March. And also, um, there's going to be a lot of conversations about the uh, Kyosho Mini Zs and everything that I've done. A lot of upgrades and updates that I've had there. And I'll talk more about that uh, new controller. So, hopefully uh, this will keep you interested for the month of March. Rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Later.